Lindsay and this is the Science of Cooking. Today we'll be learning all about the process of fermentation with Chef Jordan and her homemade soda. So tell me, what is fermentation? Fermentation is a biological process in which sugars such as glucose, fructose, and sucrose are converted into cellular energy and CO2 and ethanol are produced as byproducts. So why is this process important? Fermentation is an incredibly vital process in all of human civilization. It's in everything from the bread we eat to the alcoholic beverages that those of age drink and our own muscles. So let's see the science. What's the first step? The first step is to get one clean two liter bottle of water. Unscrew the top and add one cup of sugar. Fermentation comes from the Latin febre, which means to boil. The next step that we add is to put in one quarter teaspoon of active dry yeast. Do you know what yeast is? Yeast are tiny living cells which convert sugar to carbon dioxide. Yeast fermentation is what happens after glycolysis. The first step is a conversion of pyruvate to acetaldehyde and carbon dioxide. The second step is the acetaldehyde is reduced to ethanol and lactate by NADH, which is a product of glycolysis. Yeast is also good for adding flavor, but not good enough. That's why we have these extracts here to give it a little bit more. Okay. For this particular soda, we're going to make French vanilla flavored. So what you do is you'll add about one tablespoon of flavor. Seal it up. And then you shake it to make sure the yeast and the flavor is distributed fairly evenly throughout the entire bottle. Okay. The final step is to fill the bottle halfway up with water. When making soda, we are adding healthy microorganisms that help our bodies break down and assimilate food. You close it back up. And then you shake it to make sure you get all of the sugar, yeast, and vanilla extract that might be stuck to the side. Fermentation also happens in human muscles. During periods of intense exercise, when oxygen is limited, producing lactic acid. <laughs> now we fill it the rest of the way up with water. After it's filled all the way up, you shake it again and then you leave it sit at room temperature for three to four days. Four days later, after you put it in the refrigerator to chill it for a bit, it is ready to serve. It smells great. To science. To science. Mmm, not bad at all. So today we've learned all about the process of fermentation. See you next time on the science of cooking. So yeah. mm -hmm. okay.